my name is Mermaid Menuzine, and for this video I will show you how to create fins for your mermaid tail using aquarium silicone. The first step is to create a flat and smooth surface. My favorite is the use of vinyl. This is the type of vinyl you can buy at either a fabric or a hardware store that often people use to cover their furniture. So you take a large piece of vinyl and after that you make yourself a pattern with paper. What's important with your pattern is that you draw the rays on both sides. Using a bleed through marker is a good way of doing this. So what you do, you place your pattern under your vinyl surface and trace with a marker. Do the other side, trace with a marker and then flip everything over. I taped mine over a cardboard box so I could move it around. Once your everything is done, it's time to create the rays. So you will need your aquarium silicone. Again, safety is very important because this silicone will create toxic fumes. It's the least toxic of the ones you can buy in a hardware store, but you still have to protect yourself. For this, you will need a mask, you will need safety glasses, and you protect your skin using gloves. It's very important when working with silicone, never use latex gloves. Nitrile or vinyl are okay in this case. Then you can start making tests with your aquarium silicone. Try different thicknesses. For example, I made this particular fin, which I found was a bit too stiff because it was too thick. As you can see, I piped it all the way at every at every layer and I ended up with two layers of piped, uh, of piped silicone. So it was a bit too thick for my liking. So what I ended up doing is piping individual rays, let it dry for 24 hours. One way to be creative in making the rays for your fins is to cut the length of your uh, silicone tip with scissors so that way you end up with different thicknesses so that way you could do more of a variety of ray sizes so once you've done your rays you let dry for 24 hours once your rays are done the next step is to make the body of the fin I use what we will call now a base the base is a mix of solvent this, I, this is an odorless solvent I bought at Omer Dessert. Again, protect yourself. It's not because it's odorless that it's not toxic. And a mix of the aquarium silicone. This base, this mix for this base will permit you to use it for longer without it drying out so fast. Uh, and for the body of my fin, I added white pigments to the base. I brushed it on using a regular paintbrush. It's very important to buy the cheapest brushes you can find because they will get all gunked up with silicone and you will need to throw them away. I bought mine at Dollarama. After you've done the body of your fin, you let it dry for 24 hours. The next step is a fun step, is where you add your colors. Again, you use your base and you add your pigment. For the green pigment, I use Pearl X pigments and I mixed it at different thicknesses and different saturation of color depending on how bright I wanted my green color. I used it with, I applied it with a regular paintbrush. This could be a bit difficult and if you're at a higher level of experience you can use an airbrush but in this case you want to add a lot more solvent for a more liquid consistency and be very careful in cleaning your airbrush as frequently as possible. So in this case I did some green, I also used some pink. You can also add some sparkles for a lot of fun. You let that dry for 24 hours. The last step is the beauty coat. This seals in the color and adds an extra layer of body to your fin. So again, you use your base and more sparkles. You apply this all over your fins and you let it dry for 24 hours. After 24 hours, 
is the most satisfying part where you peel away all of your fins. So this is the step. At this step I have an example here that you've seen in the pictures. This is what it looks like on both sides. The next step is very important because uh, it will add all of the strength. A single fin like this is very weak and will rip easily. So the trick to adding strength to this type of fin is using a fabric called Power Mesh. You can get this at Fabricville and the bathing suit section. So for, for this you will add some silicone to your fin to the inside. Paint it on very thinly. Then you add your power mesh that you have previously cut and it's very important to let it stick out a little bit at the bottom because that will contribute to the strength in your stretch at insulation. You add some to the other side, glue it together and you can use closed pins to clamp it. You put it aside, let it dry for 24 hours again. The last step is to trim with scissors everything except for that last bit here. You can also add a little bit of paint if your seams are too clear for your liking. Let dry for 24 hours. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like it, please click like and subscribe to Aqua Mermaid for more tips and tricks on mermaiding. Thank you and bye-bye.